bottle service and working around men and having to have a position where you have to talk to men when they're kind of messed up and stuff like that, you start to pick up on the even more subtle things. Okay. And I was like working in the strip club, you learn that American Express card, the metal cards. Ah. The metal cards come out, the mm-hmm. ones that be looking like dads, the ones over. that you don't want to talk to. It's over. Those are the ones you should be talking to. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so but this but this is the woman you have to be at. I was like, now if you now if you just yeah, like I want somebody that makes this much, you're like you you don't even know what you're looking for. You'll get finessed. Like the, the, the thing is a guy can any guy can wear Gucci or Louis and then you're gonna be like, Okay, he's a high value man. No, he's not. He was just winning if anything, he could be more in debt than the other guy. It could be bootleg. That's the problem. Like and, and, and there's <laughs> tons boring. there's tons of guys that get a car that's a thousand dollar car note every month and they still live with their parents or something and they can still get pussy with it. Like they're very yes. like there's a lot of guys that do that shit and I make fun of all of them. <laughs> it's all very goofy. Some After of the shit. people that I've met that I've had the most money, they've been like on their Adam Sandler shit. Like, like they don't really wow. Well, like, you, like, they have it, but like, but like, they know it. So yeah. The ones that look yeah, homeless, the homeless, the but like, yes. yes, yeah, those yes, are the, the dads. I want to, I, I want to read these super chats so we can keep up with them tonight. Uh, let's go ahead with the first one. Uh, one dollar from Michael Mitro. Thank you so much, bro. Number one mod, mod on YouTube. Thank you for making a hill some pennies on us. I appreciate you with your dollar, bro. <laughs> I love I love your dollars every time. Zora's lost. Thank you with the five again, man. Thank you for always pulling up. It was funny how they fixed themselves and got excited when they learned that Cooper is packing. They stay telling on themselves. They didn't like. No one said I was packing. No one said I was packing. What are you smoking? I want some. <laughs> Damn. Here's me sitting. Me sitting trying to be humble. <laughs> yeah, you can't be humble at this table. At this table, we got too many. Active people. Uh, fifty dollars from Zentience. Thank you so much, dude. I, I haven't had a fifty dollars in a while. Thank you, man. So many women respond with, "I don't care what they make." Of course they care. They want the man to come in and take care of it all without them reciprocating, while having a lifestyle expectation. That answer lacks critical thinking. First of all, check well, your not grammar. really. <laughs> I have not really. Said. Yeah, go ahead. What? Okay, so that brings me back to um, when I said like I don't want to end up taking care of somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't mean it like like that. But I'm saying like if you're not at the same the same financial as me or motivational level or standard standard living at all, how are you gonna you gonna carry your weight at the same time I'm carrying all this weight? I feel like eventually I would have to start taking care of them. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I'm just like do you doing want... more, making more. I don't want no. I don't want to ever so end. What up... are you bringing to the table? Like what? I never like, said I want to be taken care of, but uh, for him you to know. say that. Like for him, do you, do you want the woman? I the man. I would, I would mind it. No, I'm just right. Actually, uh, this guy actually is well known in the RP space. He actually does uh, tune in for a lot of RP content. So shout out to you. Awesome. If I'm correct, he is a doctor too. Mm. So, oh, yeah, he is. Like, yeah, yeah from how he is. Uh, but uh, but the uh, thing is that I, I want to point out that that um, y'all, y'all y'all might not like really think that money is a big deal, but. Uh, how many of y'all have dated a guy where y'all were the breadwinner? Or y'all were taking care of the guy. I want to. I want to know how many of y'all have actually done that before, <laughs> Ew, though. Never. Like have actually give him the title. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like give him the title and yeah. you take care of them. Have you done that before? Oh wait, me take care of someone. Yeah, yeah. No, take no, care no, of a guy. No. I did it before I started dancing, so did, I had no yeah boundaries. Yeah. And have you done it? <laughs> I have. It was fifty fifty, and then another one. Like I was, I earned more than him, so it was a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, but but how long did it last? That one didn't last a year either. Okay, okay. Have you taken care of a guy before? Negative. Okay, have you? So, so, so the thing is, men, we don't really care at all about taking care of women because it's very natural for us. So, like, uh, what, what he's saying is very, 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 very true. Like, extremely true. Uh, the women really do expect men to take care of them and provide a certain kind of lifestyle. And um, nine times out of ten, the woman isn't providing that much in return. It just depends. Don't get me wrong. Some women do provide. I think if you're in a relationship, it's because... Uh, I watched a really good video the other day that was about this. Um, if you want to get married or you want to be in a relationship, you have to constantly be in the mindset of giving, of all, always being. Like, I can't express to you how much I'm always going, always going to my girl. What do you need? What You want this? What do you want? You want, you want this? Like, like, always trying to put, if anything, if anything for towards it. And what does she do in return? She does the same thing for me. She does like like she'll do anything. She's always asking, like, she sees I'm in a bad mood. She's like, can I cook you something? Do you want anything? You know, like. We're always doing extra effort to make the other person happy, you know, but I think what he's saying is that sometimes it's the guy doing a lot of shit 
And sometimes the women don't have to put up a lot, which is understandable because think about it, ladies. How many guys are hitting y'all up on a daily basis? Like y'all don't really – it's not like a guy who's a beta, like a guy that can't get a lot of girls who he's having to chase all these girls and he might get pussy once every six months. Y'all kind of have kind of have all the all the time. So why would you need would you need to receive anything? You don't because there's another there's another there that's not ever gonna require it out of you. Out of you. That's the reason why sometimes a man is giving a lot and sometimes a woman isn't giving really anything. It really just depends on the person. I'm not gonna point fingers say any of y'all are like that, but some people are. Um, we got another super chat actually from uh, Zentience. Yeah. So shout out to you, bro. Yeah. Thank you so much for the fifty, bro. Um, Sterling, I would bet money that majority of modern women lack introspection, nor have they thought what it takes to attain that level of accomplishment, money, status. There's salt. Uh, so I can't even say it. Solip solipsistic, solipsistic and hedonistic lifestyle oh, is unassuming. That's a new word I need to learn. I know he know hedonistic well can because I use that Google word that every day. Me? Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, which word? So the, the solipsistic. 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 You view the world only through your own unique perspective. Lens. Okay, education. Wow, very so, uh, it, uh, it, like, selfish it, mindset. It's not. It's not entirely. Selfish. It means you're basically incapable of viewing the world through another person's shoes. Very close. Mind. Okay. Yeah. Very empathetic. Not non empathetic. The, the opposite yeah, non -empathetic. of empathetic. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. the mm -hmm. opposite of empathetic. Yeah. Okay. And I always talk about hedonism. Like, yes, ladies, please get out of the hedonism. It's not going to work. It doesn't <laughs> fix anything. Um, I mean, we're in a room of strippers right now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, this was the wrong show for me to talk about right, hedonism. Dancer, dancer, having dancer. you on also. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it doesn't. It's a, it's a, it's a goddamn joke. <laughs> um, I want to know. Hmm. Because you, you're here. Uh, do y'all think that one person has the power to change the world? This is a weird question. This isn't normally what we'd ask on here. Do you think one man has the power to change the world? One person. Damn. I don't, I don't even know. Uh -huh. I can't say yes or no. I think one person could have the influence to, to change, change the, the world. world. Yeah. Okay. yeah, for sure. Yeah. What about you? I definitely agree because, you know, money runs the world whether we like it or not. And, like, it, it really could change it. Like, if, who is it? Who is it? Is it, um... Is he on Musk? I forgot Musk. who it is. Oh yeah, somebody, somebody. But Bye. they have so already. much money, like they can donate, donate, like like the smallest percentage of their money. That would even solve like hunger, homelessness, all that shit. Like this, like that shit could really. I believe in it. Yeah, yeah. One person can definitely do it. What do you think, bro? Can one person change the world? Absolutely. It's, it's evidently the fact. I mean, literally, like Elon Musk's a perfect example. Hey, look at Andrew Tate. Man. Andrew Tate's another example of like literally having a massive impact on the zeitgeist. But oh. there's there's numerous examples of dudes doing this. Yep. You know, like it was in, like changing the world in some way. Yes. Like, it was just way more making than, an impact. Yeah, some kind of significant, long lasting impact, which is way more than the average person could ever accomplish in their life. You're gonna love her when I get to here. Go. Uh, what, what What do you think? Think? Do you think one man can change the world? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Thank you. Yep. Of course. So I love the uh, the uh, this is gonna be talking about the story. I love the story of this guy from Siberia, Russia. His name was um uh huh. Oh, Gr Gr Grigory Rasputin was his name. So this guy, yeah, you, do you know who Grigory was? So, 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 uh, this guy was uh, born in Siberia, Russia. He was a fucking bum. He had a wife, and uh, he was cheating on his wife. He had a big penis, so he was the, the town. He was the town whore, and, uh, and and he fucked around. He got kicked out of town because he was fucking other people. This was the early 1900s when you shouldn't be doing this stuff. He goes on. And, and uh, he joins like a sex cult that like they, they, they worship Jesus and they're very Christian, but they also, you know, have sex, don't have sex together, this type of shit. Okay. He becomes a leader of this sex, of this sex cult. Dick game is so strong. <laughs> From that point, he moves all the way up to the point where he is literally working with the Romanov family that is ruling the Russian, uh, like basically the Russian oligarchy that runs everything in Russia. This was back whenever, uh, where, where, was it called Russia then? Was it Mother Russia? I don't know what it was. <laughs> but like so this guy is literally helping heal their son this is the same family from anastasia if you remember the story yeah, of anastasia. Say, it anastasia is the same right story now? of anastasia it's the same story of anastasia and her son or the, the son was very sick he was there to heal his son the husband was gone during, during world war ii who was leading the country and he was run, running the wife a lot of what was going on in russia the russia during world war. they end up losing the war again their ass kicked a lot ass kicked a lot of weapons and what ends up happening is the whole country falls because all the people who were watching everything going on were like, why are you letting this fucking guy run the country just because he got a big dick and your wife is in love with him or whatever the fuck? Oh like, God. why the hell is all this shit happening? And the whole country fell. And communism would not be where it is today if it wasn't for this man's penis <laughs> fucking up all of Russia. OK, communism at its point right now would have never grown to this point if it was not for him destroying that dynasty for that family. But yeah, he so just, what? He destroyed that pussy. Is what he did. Yeah, 
But just so y'all know, one man can can change the fucking world. The butterfly effect is an amazing, amazing thing. First, it can completely change what we have today. We have today, hundred a hundred years ago. And, and, and guess what? If y'all want to go see his penis in Russia, you can go see it in a museum right now. Yeah, right, it is yeah. still on display. That's, that's how much he changed the world, guys. He changed they, the world that 